welcome my guests today, my esteemed guests today on this inaugural launch of Dana TG's YouTube channel is Mr. Mickey Billingham. How do you do? How are you, sir? I'm very good, thank you I'm very, very much. grateful yes. for you being here. It's a pleasure. Absolute joy. And Mr. Everett Morton. Hi. Another two esteemed musicians, Everett X of the Beat, and now into the beat goes bang. Mickey X of General Public, Special Beat Service. And Dexy's been on this. And Dexy's yeah, been, yeah. I knew that, I was waiting. <laughs> As if I was going to leave it out. Yeah, never leave out the Dexedrine. Never, oh, never, never, never. Okay, so the interesting thing between you two gentlemen is you've both we, musically. Musically, like say, with some successful bands. Successful bands, mm. but you've both, your bands, in, have had a lot of paradoxical, parallel costume changes many times over. Oh, yeah. If you Probably. think about it, how many times that the beat has had its own costume changes and over and over, and, and Dexy's. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, Dexy's, uh, right from the start, it was never gonna stand still with the same thing. But, uh, you know, the, I think the dungarees were a, a little bit of a stretch too far, though. You could get three people in the pair I had. Yes, I've seen, I've, I've managed to, to siphon some, um, some uh, photographs of you looking very angelic mm. with this flowing blonde hair and little plimsolls oh, and this lovely. and he, he, well he, he, he were, you were you were on this um plinth on this video for uh, come on Eileen they put you up high when they were filming yeah um I don't know if that was the official promo as it were no it wasn't I think that was somewhere in Germany or okay. a German TV program and um you were up high and you're very blonde yeah and looking quite ethereal may I say <laughs> flowing so and uh, swinging your legs in a kind of happy childlike way. Yep. And uh, everyone else was one. very, very animated. But, um, but so many times, um, I, I read, um, going back to your, to your career, um, Mickey, I read that once that um, a quote from Kevin saying that he wanted everybody to give up their jobs and do nothing but rehearse. Is that correct? Well, that we all did, yeah. Wow. It was, uh, we used to rehearse from 10 in the morning till five at night, five days a week. That's a lot. Yeah, and it was, but we needed to do it, you know, because we had an LP to, we had an LP to rehearse. Yes. And we, we had loads of shows. It was, the, it was the only way to get it absolutely right. Yes. You know, it's like, I mean, I mean we do that now if we could afford to, you know, but we yes. can't. But it was strange because um, I left a job on the building for £90 a week and I was on £60 a week with Dexys, and that's when we could get the money. Wow. But it was all good fun, though. Yes. But and that's hard graft. Yeah, people yeah, don't yeah. do that like that anymore. I don't think they do. No, no I don't no, think they no, do. No, I don't and think they do. They rely a lot heavily on social media. Th but yeah, yeah, I think they might do if they've got a big tour coming up. But um, I don't think people work like that. But I think it is the best way to do it. You know? Yeah. Was it mentally a strain doing that? Oh yeah, arguments and everything. Yeah. You know, it was. Because uh, you're in it all the time together, five days a week. That's right. Like and a big brother house. Strong personalities and, and stuff like that as yeah. well. No. no drinking, no taking drugs or anything. It was just that was later. Well, no, that was right from the beginning. That was a sackable offence. Oh. No drinking at rehearsals or before. Right. And certainly no smoking weed or anything. Wow. At all. Wow. After a gig or before it all. But you can't wait to get in the beat. Well... I'm joking. I'm joking. Not even <laughs> suggesting yeah. for one minute. For one minute. OK, that, so that, yeah, no, that was hard graph. And um, the one thing I didn't know d during my research, shame on me, but not really, is um, that I didn't realise when you got down... I know we're jumping the gun enormously. We will go back to Dexys. Just, 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 just jumping for one second. General public, I did not know that that was under IRS. That's Mr Miles Copeland, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because there has been a lot of... You know, Sting was a huge Beat fan, by the way. Did you know I that? know he was, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. used to wear a Beat T-shirt, yeah, you knew yeah, that. Yeah, that's easy. He had this, well, he designed his own shirt. They, and, with the one he cut right, yeah. and wore. Because Dave Wack can wear it now. I mean, like, he's, you've got to say that. Yeah, he's, course got, can. He's, got, he's got the same. You know, he copied him. What, with the cut in it? With the, with, yeah, with, with the sleeves. The, the sleeves, sleeves off, yeah, which yeah. he wore in the... Um, in the video. In the video yeah, to yeah. Um, mm. uh, every little thing she does is magic. Yes. In the in the yeah, school, yeah. in the schoolroom. Huge beat fan. And um, yeah, so Miles's company IRS. I, I didn't even realise that the special beat service was um, uh, general public was under. Uh, I th well, I think it was because Dave and Roger were still signed to IRS anyway. So uh, yeah. So it was uh, we were automatically on their label. Yeah. So 
How did you, before we go back to the beat? How did you two, How did you guys meet? Oh, did we? Meet, oh, did I meet Mickey? Yes. Or oh, when it's when Roger got him into the beat. Yes. The second beat. Yeah. The uh, second formation. Second formation. So you were on the beat, first two yeah. albums. I was in the first three. You were on the first three. three. Was it three albums you did? First three. Yeah. It was three. Yeah. yeah. What's the first I was three? On, I was there all the time. <laughs> you were on what? Yeah. You were on. She, you were on. Um, t- uh, just can't I'm, stop it. I just can't stop it. And there was another one. Which one? Special beat service. service. Oh yes, that's the one. Yeah. With yeah. The, with but the, but yeah. I forgot. But, but, <laughs> yes, of course, with the little Pan Amps. And yeah. Mm, there you go. Yeah. Oh no, I was there from the beginning. So like, obviously, I was there till the end. <laughs> But so, so you met Mickey on the second incarnation of that? I um, yes, met Mickey in the second one, yes. Okay. When you met up and you were then on General Public. That's right. Sorry, yeah, apologies. Yeah. You got it. That's right. The, 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 the beat finished. Uh, Dave and Roger and myself formed General Public. And then uh, I think Everett played with fine young, young cannibals for a bit. Just for a little bit. I did not know that about you. Well, that yeah, was also well, under IRS. Well, no, no, it's, I mean, I, I didn't... They were, fine young cannibals. They were, they were under they were IRS, fine young cannibals. Were they? Yeah. Oh, OK. Well, yeah. I, I didn't get so far with them because I just resigned. OK. Yeah, but, you know... Can like, you tell us why you resigned? Or is, well, you don't resigned, need to? Well, it's, I just... Just so uh, I don't know, I don't know why it is. I made a mistake. <laughs> okay, yeah, you were unhappy there. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, something like that, you know. I just, just think it was taking a long time, so I just, me, just, just stopped. What was taking a long time? But, you know, it was the, getting the band together. You know, we was getting the music together, like you know, and it's, I just think it was taking a long time. And you weren't happy. Uh, well, I just, I was <laughs> Yeah. Okay, fair enough. You know, so. I, I did one track with them and that, that's it, but then they, they carried on and they got so big. Yeah, big then. So just before their ascent? Just before they were t- ready to take off. Okay. Like, you know, I, I was on and like, you know, it's just, it's just like, I've got to live with it. Okay. Yeah, so it's... Do, 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 do you regret that decision? But I mean, I regret it, but I'm not going to live on it to no. say, or oh, should be there, should be there, like, you know. No. Yeah. No. Know, it wasn't to be. No. It wasn't to be. Some things aren't to be in life. Some, exactly. So, Understood. Um, you know, that, that's why I keep going on now, like, say, carrying on with the music, like, you know, so. I might say, have enough of this one and resign again. <laughs> no. No, no, no. So, can I just ask you something about, mm. um, I'm going to just talk about your, um, your, st- your style of drumming. I'm jumping. I'm coming back to Mickey yeah. in a second. Your style of drumming has been described as polyrhythmic. Is it? I did mean, you know that? I didn't know what it was. Uh, it's, a, it's a great word. No, is it? Uh, well, it means... What does it, it mean? Means, does it, I, I will tell you what it means. Okay. Oh, great one. It means two rhythms running in concurrent at the same time. Well, well, what a description. Yes, I like yeah. it. Mm. So uh, apparently Everett's got a polyrhythmic style and also um, it involves polyrhythmic um, style and I, syncopation. I, I mean, I... I, I Class it as punky reggae. Yes, yeah, I think that's, I think that's what it is. Yeah, 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 no, I knew. But apparently, that you have because been described. I, mean, I, I, I copied a lot of old uh, drummers, like you know, yeah, uh, like lo- jazz. Of, uh, just, 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 a, just a mixture of everything. Tell me who yeah. you like. What who well, which I mean, drummers? Because I'm drum mad. Billy Cobham. Yes. Yes. You know. So um, one of my drum heroes, Stuart Copeland, adores Billy Cobham. What are you going to say about Stewie? You can't have a bad word. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm not no, saying no, a bad no. word about Stuart Copeland. What do you think of him as a drummer? I think it's, it's, it's great. I mean, we work with the police a yes. lot. Yeah, Tell me we, about we, that. We, we open for them and, like, you know, we, we would watch the police and I would, and the police would watch us, like, so we just take a little bit from one another, like, and just to make the night yeah. better, like, you know. Billy like Cobham was very... T- yeah, very, yeah, very, very, very yeah, fast. Yeah, it was very, yeah. But I mean, when he appeared on stage, it's him. It's him, like, you know, yeah. Are the drummers? Yeah, yeah well, uh, no, I'm, I'm, there are lots of drummers of, you know, Buddy Rich. When I was, oh, yeah, it's Buddy I mean, Rich is yeah. phenomenal. So that's yeah. very jazzy. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, so. So, I mean, 
I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna come back to the lovely Mickey in a second. Mm. I don't want him to feel like we're not talking to him. He's no, here. No, no. Uh, but I, we, we, we've just gone down a drum rabbit hole. Now I'm a bit yeah, excited. Yeah, that's just it. For I a hope, hope we can get out of it. Yeah. Um, mm. But what I want to ask you is, and I'm gonna play something that I don't own the copyright to. I just thought I'd say at this juncture um, that um, I, I just want you to know that just musically, mm. this, just this beginning part here, I'm gonna just whack it up. Okay. Is absolutely heavenly, just drum wise. Okay, just as, right. just as as a listener, yeah, yeah. orally, mm-hmm. this is an absolutely heavenly piece of drumming. Okay, just this. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah, now I just couldn't stop. <laughs> but I'm so glad you didn't yeah. stop. So I'm, I'm actually thrilled you didn't stop. I, I, I literally sometimes just play that tiny part yeah, to myself yeah, because yeah. I'm a bit weird okay, over right. and over again because okay. it's so great. Yeah, all oh, right. Just so you know, mm-hmm. it, it, it is, it okay. is, it, it's, you've got a unique sound, a very unique sound. Yes. It's, it's excellent. It's for sound like I was falling down the stairs. <laughs> it does, ha- it no, does have an ascension. No, 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 someone described my, dro- some my drawing as that. Like, it yeah, is. Yeah. It's, nobody's ever described it as unique. It is mm, unique. Yeah, it is. You, you, it is wow. recognisable. Mm, yeah. um, the, 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 I'm, I'm, I will get... I'm very passionate about my music. I'm going to go mad about you shortly. Um, mm. I haven't left you out. Um, <laughs> but, um, so, um, the thing is, what I want to ask you is, and I can ask you both this, actually, is... The, the, the well, even though Mickey wasn't on that yet, but the the production on the first two albums, yeah, is unbelievably good. Even now, it sounds unbelievably it's, fresh and clean. Yeah, fresh, I was going to say, it, it does sound it fresh. It hasn't dated in the least. No, 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 no. I don't think it will. The production. Yeah, yeah. It's Bob Sargent did a good job. Ah, uh, there yeah, you go. Yeah, he did a good job. He's, yeah, it's just was something new to him, and he just. It just fit in. It was like a puzzle. It just fits in. With it, it, it's, I think everyone just fits in, like with what was going on. Just, yeah. it's just the <laughs> sound is unbelievably good. Yeah. It really, really is. Yeah. I was the anchored for that band. You <laughs> yeah. were anchored. I was, I was the anchor. For, yes. for, for the band, like, Yes, of the, course. Yeah. While he was playing, what they was playing, I was just like say, keeping them, keeping them together. <laughs> yes, in all you sense. Mm, in all sense, in good sense, yeah. Okay. What, yeah. as in maybe having to harness personalities? Well, I mean, they've, they've changed me. Like, well, I was, I was used to play reggae. But That's now, very interesting. But, but they've, they've changed me, so, like, you know, so let's go a little bit faster, like, because they was doing punk, so just mixing the punk with the reggae. Yeah, punky reggae. Yes. Yeah, that's what I've... It's it's a great... That, that's that's why I will, you know, like, say, name it, you know, it's punky reggae. That's, it. that's interesting yeah. that they've changed mm. you. That they yeah, changed they've changed you musically. Oh, yeah, they've changed me, but, but for the better. Yes, for the better. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, so that that, yeah. that caused you to have an mm. arc as a musician. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, that's very very they, interesting. They helped me get there, like you know, yeah. So okay, you know, and so. then and then you came in, Mickey. And, yeah, that's right. I replaced the because the original keyboard player with the beat blockhead. I think he had a falling out, so I, I I took over from him. Yes, and your instrumental history. Uh, with, uh, with keyboards and 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 you also play uh, the uh, accordion. That's right. Which is a beautiful instrument. Well, uh, first and foremost, I'm a classical piano player. That's that's. I what, didn't know you yeah. did. Evidently, that, I just didn't. And okay. and I intended to go to the Birmingham School of Music, which never happened. So the next best thing was join a group. Okay. And I started doing that. You still teach. Don't I don't. You? No, I don't. You anymore, stopped. No, yeah, I, I, yeah, I read yeah. that you did used to teach the, the, at, at, at uh, schools at, or colleges. Dudley College. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What well, we, you were teaching music or specifically the piano? Music. Okay. Yeah, all th- all th- performing arts and uh, popular music. Students. Imagine that. So you go to college and then uh, an esteemed musician comes it was, in. No, it was, it was, it was, That's really cool. It was good for ten years. Yes. Did you? So. It, it must be nice to give to students. Well, yeah, it was it was really interesting, you know. We start because I learnt a lot off them as well. Wow! Yeah, you know, because because some of the some of the stuff that they that was popular at that time, like in uh, like like twenty six uh, twenty six oh six and things like that. Yeah, I couldn't stand it, and it's like but they used to always used like to what? jam along. Tell me what you couldn't uh, stand. I'd Pete, like to know. Pete Doherty. Oh dear. Couldn't bear him. I feel guilty, but really, I, yeah. I, I don't understand it either. And but that's everyone. You must be, you know, all art is subjective. And Paolo Nottini as well. I mean, I, I don't understand why anybody liked him. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I think it, I don't know. 
Why is, well, but, but he like, did what, like, there's a couple of songs I've heard in films. We'll go back to you guys' stuff yeah. being in, in, in lots of films, mm. lots and lots, especially um, the. Um, oh yes. The, the, lots of your stuff has been in films. Save, I've noted save that. It for later. Yeah, save it for later. Yeah. And, and also, tenderness has been in a yeah. lot of American yeah, that, films. That, 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 I hope I hope you were I hope you were mightily reimbursed oh, for all yeah, of those yeah, things. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, d I just know that uh, a lot of. Uh, I'm digressing, but yeah, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the Goldbergs as the well. Go what was in the Goldbergs? Oh, that was tenderness. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. I love the Goldbergs. Do you watch it? No. Oh. Okay, it's a very good programme. No, I just got. I just. He just seemed like, like happy that his lyrics are in there. I just held my hand out when the money came. When Listen, the why wouldn't you? There's the cap. I hear yeah, you. Yeah. And also, in one of my favourite films ever. Weird science. That's right, yeah. I have a tattoo yeah, yeah. of both of those boys on the back of my leg. Uh, I just thought I'd let you know that yeah, interesting Dana. Lovely, yeah. Hashtag Dana fact. Yeah. Which, which, which when they make a woman out of Kelly LeBrock. Which oh, track? Oh, yeah. uh, that, that was so, it was Tenderness. It was tenderness. Okay, yeah. uh, also in Clueless mm. and, a, and a film called Devil's Jew. That's D-U-E, not the religious one. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Mm, just thought okay. I'd say that. Uh, yeah, so yeah, there's been quite a there's been quite a lot of your stuff in uh, in films. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're the general public. Uh, yeah, and, and the B. Yeah, and the B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got, uh, and also I'll take you there. That's right. That was the in a film called um, yeah, in a, in a film called Threesome. Yep. Worrying title, and uh, yeah, also. You've done a lot of research. I have. You? Yeah. Work. <laughs> yeah. You've got to love what you do, mm, yeah, my exactly, friend. You don't want me to ask you yeah. dumb questions. No, no, that would be no, rubbish. No, no. Have I ever done so far mm. on the dumb up, dumbometer? No, you're doing all right. Thanks, darling. I, mean, you know, I appreciate right. it. Listen, inaugural really ship good. has launched. Nice we homework and research. Good homework. I was up, I was up late mm. writing stuff in blue pen that I can't see because of that blue light, yeah. which is even funnier. Yeah. That's <laughs> all fine. Uh, nothing wrong with notes. Um, I tell you what, we're going to do. We're going to take a break from all this okay. intense. Um, not filming. You, you, you're not. You're not leaving. Not yet. You can. You okay. can. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Did yes. you see what I did there? Yes, I did. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, now, what I was going to say to you is, on my radio show. It is the same old show on my radio. Sorry about that. On my radio show, um, I do a quiz. Now, it isn't pub or cheesy. It's actually for the intelligentsia. It's, nice. for, it's for the thinker. It's a great quiz. And I'm going to dedicate this quiz, this particular one on this show, to the late, great James Lipton, who passed last week, sadly. Who is he, you're thinking, and why Ooh, yeah. wouldn't you? Ooh, what does I'm going to tell you. Okay. So he presented a show in the mm. States called the act inside the actor studio have you seen it oh i've heard of that yeah. it's a wonderful yeah, yeah, show yeah, yeah. so they, they they would have acting students on even yeah. though neither of you yeah. are, are yeah. thespes they would have actors actors uh, uh student act students on uh in their second or third year of drama in the states and then they would have an esteemed actor on and james would ask lots and lots of questions and at the end he'd have this uh, quiz called the pivot questionnaire okay. that was derived mm -hmm. by a frenchman called bernard pivot uh, and he used this questionnaire every single week and I'm going to adopt it in, in honour of his passing because I use it on the radio and, it, and it, it, it evokes lots of really great answers. They're simplistic mm. one-word yeah. answers okay. and the great thing that differs between here and the radio, even though we're recording for radio as well, is we can swear on YouTube. Oh, Whereas on radio, can. we can't say <laughs> shit. No, so um, anyway, did you like how I slipped that in? Mm -hmm, it was yeah, great. Yeah. Um, so that's fine. So I'm going to ask you them each one in, in succession. There are only ten questions. Right. Mm -hmm. They're not invasive or creepy, okay. which is unusual <laughs> for me. And uh, that's fine. So, um, um, so I'm going to ask you each one each. Mm -hmm, and, uh, yeah. and if you want, I don't want to answer them at all. You don't have to. But okay. the, none of them. If, are, we, if I don't know the answer, I don't. Oh, have we to. can pass and go to Mickey. Yeah, okay, and then, then I'm going to press you for the answer regardless because I'm. Yeah. Difficult. Okay. All right. Then. Okay. <laughs> I'm not really. Okay. Everett Morton. Sir yes. Everett of Morton. Do you like that? Yes. That's what is your favourite word? My favourite word. Mm, I... It can be anything. It can be anything. Yes, sir. Can't think present to me. It's my favourite word. Good. Why? You don't even have to tell me why. I just if that's your favourite word, yeah, that is. I, I may elaborate. Cause I've been good. Have you? Yeah, I've been good. Do you know that in your soul? I know that in my good. soul. Good. That's relevant so, to the yeah. last. That's relevant to the last question. So hold <laughs> okay. that thought. You've yeah. been good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, to be yeah. good in, inside that's oneself the only is thing a good that thing. Came, yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. And I'm only going to call you this once because it's slightly nauseating. So Michael of Billington. Mm -hmm. 
What's your favourite word? Supercilious. I love that word. It sounds like what it means. Yes, it really yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. It really does. It's just quite nauseating it's one of those and wo- great. It's one of those words like bowels. That, that sounds like what they are as well. Brilliant. Brilliant. Everett. Yes. Should, you can just have both. They're both genius. What is your least favourite word? My least favourite word, hate. Hate? Yeah. No explanation needed. No. Basically, people people use it so it's wrong, and people keep it's like it's like they every sentence is punctu- it starts with basically. It's very LA. Can't stand this. Yeah, it's yeah, cheesy. Yeah. That's a Los Angeles well, that thing. Makes it basically, even worse, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why? Yeah. You got, uh, can I just bitch a little bit about Los Angeles as a as a slight aside? I'm very we, tangential. We can all join I'm warning you. That. Can I what? We can all join him with that. Mm. Mick is very funny. Yeah. I'm trying to hold myself together. Okay. No, he's doing well. I did. He's fabulous. I, I've been to, I love America very, very much. Mm. I know this isn't about me, hard as it is to believe. Um, I'm, I love America very, very much. I really do. It's actually one of my favourite places in the whole world. I don't know why it's my happy place. And I got, I've been to quite a few states in my time, but for some reason I couldn't stand Los Angeles because I found it mm-hmm. soulless and no sense of community. That's I know right. that's really banishing. What do you think? Well, I lived there for 18 months there in, in go, Hollywood, so I agree entirely with you. It's, it's too, you know, it, they can't help it that it's open out and you need a car to go everywhere. They can't help that. But what they can help is, I just found it just, how are you? And all that, just like, you don't mean it. Could you say that again? Super silly. How are you? Yeah. You guys. Yeah. yeah. Not, not Americans in general, just why? They're just frightened to death. In California, they're frightened to death of everything. They used to say to me, don't get walking. I used to walk yeah. down Santa Monica Boulevard for miles to go to clubs, and it was I never had, and walk back at four o'clock in the morning, and I never had one bit of trouble at all. Of course not. You know, they were always like, you can't walk, you can't walk. It's like, well, watch me then. I can and I have. Yeah, yeah. I'm British, we walk. Yep, yeah, absolutely. I yeah. hear you, sir. OK, I digress. Now, this is a bit of a three-pronged question, and to this okay. day, I still don't get it, so I just say... Well, I mean, you if you don't get it, I won't get it. Well, <laughs> I just think you can answer all three yeah, okay. or just make it as an amalgamation, because it's a strange question, OK? What okay. turns you on creatively, spiritually or emotionally? You answer all three subjects if you want. It's a bit weird. Wow. What turns me on? Creatively, spiritually or emotionally? Mickey's loving it because he gets time to think. Yeah, well, I mean, I, uh, I think they've passed this one to Mickey. Okay, <laughs> Sir Michael. Um, a nice, um, a nice symphony. Beautiful. Which particular symphony? Might um, I ask? I'd say something like by Shostakovich, like his Definitely. Seventh Symphony, written for when the when the Germans were invading Russia. Okay. It's the siege based on the siege of Leningrad. That really stirs me up, and it's got a spiritual aspect to it as well because it was like, it was uh, appealing to to the Russian people to give them hope. And, and it's, it's one of the most stunning pieces of music I've ever heard. Shostakovich's... Seventh Symphony. I shall note it yep. and listen. I don't think I have. I'm very honest, so I, I will take note. Thank you for that. Um, now you've got to answer the question, sir. The same question. Yes, because you passed it to Mickey. You're not going to get away with it, every No, I, mean, I just... I just <laughs> <laughs> really? Could you pass the question again? Like, I will repeat it for repeat you. Repeat it again. Because we're getting on in years, I understand. Yeah, 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 okay. you know, the memory, not all that. What turns you on creatively, spiritually or emotionally, Mr Morton? I don't think I could answer that as... You can Positive as... What turn me on? Creatively. You don't even have to pick the others, or, you know... Mm, I would say music. That's you know, absolutely like, fine. Yeah, yeah it's music. What, you're yeah. a musician. It's yeah, it's exactly. part of your DNA. You know, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, what turns Different you off? Of what turns me off? Anything. What turns you off? I, I try not to let nothing turn me off. I mean, like you know, it's, I just turn myself off. So uh, it, there's nothing that would say change me from my thoughts or what so but about about other things mm, about the other what the turns o- you off about something off. shall i give you an example yeah go on if yeah. i went on a date and i met a man he was oh, stunning <laughs> not you if i went on a met, no i'm not saying i'm not gonna this is not about you i meant if i went on a date with a man and he was absolutely mm, drop dead if he had yeah. dirty fingernails i'd never see him again mm. there's an example <laughs> yeah that okay? turns there's you no off. excuse none yeah well absolutely i mean absolutely none 
I just... Nothing turns you off? Nothing Even turns me off. Even if you me. met a chick and she whiffed? Well, I mean, well, I don't think... <laughs> no, I've, I've never, I've never anywhere saw so like, you know, it's... You never I've, met a girl and thought, oh, God, no. No, Does no, Does that have to be a girl? No, it could be no, anything? No, no, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should we leave so, it there, that one? Yeah, leave okay, it there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Michael? I just got um, nothing that turns me off. I think it's like... I want to be uh, all the time. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be women. It could be men. It doesn't have to be anything, okay? What turns uh, you off? Well, it could be anything. Unbelievably for me, it's like overuse of bad language. Like every other word, you know, and it's, but it's not used for a particular reason. It's just like people, you know, people get lazy with the speech. I'm very guilty of being profane. Oh, me too, me too. Very mate. profane. It's a bit rich coming from, I'm terrible. I'm surprised I haven't said I'm, at least the F word by now. You can say it, it's YouTube. Out you go. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Um, you are? Oh, no, it's radio, it's radio, you can't. No, no, ro I'll be cutting it out the radio, mm -hmm. but YouTube, we can fuck mm -hmm. away, it's all good. All good. Um, that's fine, so... <laughs> I love this laugh. Okay, so, which... This is a beautiful seg. This this question has now led into the segue of absolute... The segue of dreams. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'll go to Michael first, give you time yeah, to yeah, think. Yeah, give I, me time I feel I'm like pressuring you, you more to, no, no, to questions play. that you may yeah. not want to answer. Michael, mm. Mickey Billington, what is your favourite curse word, sir? Curse word? Oh, uh, Get it out. Oh, it's the C word. Say, I've got... Yeah. A, see this tattoo on my leg? Yeah. It's a bomb with a C in it, because Americans call it the C-bomb, because they won't say it. Oh, right. Go ahead. Oh, no, what? Go ahead. Oh, really? Go ahead. Well, I've got to have I'll a... I'll find out. If we can't do it, we'll cut it. Well, there's say no it. context, is there? No. All right, so I feel like a right cunt. Beautiful. Or you could just say this tea tastes cuntish or whatever. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Beautiful, that's fine. Yeah. So let me just tell you about that word. People yep. are horrified by it. Yeah. And I think it's a wonderful verbal javelin, do you not? Oh, it's... Isn't it great? Oh, it should be spelt with a K, really. You know, it's one of those words, isn't it? You know, it's like... Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's just like a blow dart. You know, you can meet people and they just to horrify them, you can just... Yeah, cunt. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're horrified. And you know, there's a lot of men are horrified by women saying it. And that mm, makes me want to say yeah, it more. Yeah, yeah, well, it's things like that wouldn't make me, wouldn't bother me like she can say people want to, you know. I know. Yeah. I, I understand. I'm not bothered. <laughs> just Everett. <laughs> everyone to their own. What's your favourite curse word, sir? My favourite curse word, just leave me alone, don't upset me. It's you know, very passive, yeah, yeah, I like you know, it. Yeah. It's very sweet. Yeah. It isn't actually a curse word, but I'll <laughs> no, let you have it. It's okay, all good. No, no, be you. passive. I like <laughs> it. I like it. It's sweet. Uh, Mickey, what sound or noise do you love? Well, uh, well I, 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 I love the sound of a piano. Fine. Like a nice grand piano. Okay. That, that does it for me. Good. Steinway? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. See. It's like, I feel like I offered you a cigar there and it was the right mm. cigar. That's you right. You look like you wanted yeah. that cigar. I hear you. <laughs> show, show me a Beckstein and I'll be dripping. A what? Show me a Beckstein piano uh, and I'll be dripping. Dripping? Yeah. That's a good swear word. Mm. Okay, yeah. so, um, can, um, what Everett. sound or not? Everett. I know that it's Everett. I okay, knew that. All right. I knew that. Right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Sir <laughs> Everett. Okay. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, what sound? What uh, sound or noise do you love, Everett? What sound do you love? What sound do I love? I had an answer before they come to me, but it's just disappeared. I love the sound, of, like say, of a good snare drum. I knew you were yeah, going to yeah. say snare. No, no I'm yeah, so happy. Yeah, I feel like a, like, I feel like I a mean, theorist. Yeah, but I, I just love because that is a, the art of the. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's just you know, if if it's no good, it's that I don't want to hear it at all. So it's got to be good. I've got a friend of mine that's a drummer mm. called yeah. Jeffrey Clemens. Do you know Jeff Clemens? No. He's in a band called G Love and Special Sauce. They're fabulous. You ever heard okay. of them? No. And he's very very snary. Yeah. And yeah. and I know yeah. him. Mm. Like I know you, this is an honour here. Yeah. By the sound of that snare, not your snare, yeah. but I know your drumming. If someone mm. was to play your drumming yeah, to me, I would yeah, know it was yeah, you. Yes, yes, and yeah. I know his drumming because he's so snary. What sound or noise do you hate, Mickey? I hate the sound of Everett's tom toms when he's sound checking. Of course you do. It goes right through me. Like prune juice. That's it. Yeah. This is like a marriage, but without yeah, aggravation yeah, or I sex, can really. I see him walking through, out the door. Yeah, he's, he's leaving. He's left the building. Oh. <laughs> okay, and so what sound do you hate, Everett? I hate a bad feedback. Bad feedback. Yeah. 
Okay, studio feedback. Yes. Uh, not not criticism feedback. No, You're studio no, feedback. Just... Understand. Right. Musical. I'm going to put this one on you first. What mm. profession other than your own would you like to attempt? What profession? Other than being a glorious well, drummer. A footballer because now I've had attempts of it a lot because they class drummer and footballer at the same stamina. Do they? Yeah, but I mean, a footballer doesn't drink before he train yes which in the, I do something like that but they, they've classed them as the same do you have a little beverage sir do you, do you have a little shot mm, before I'd, you drum I'd, I'd, I'd do yeah I do I try it's not honest. to have too much of it no you know because you'll be trashed and exactly can't play. yeah yes. well I fell off my stool once God, this guy was feeding me with with drinks I was there he, he loved what I was doing and he was feeding me with drinks and like, yeah and I fell off my stool Wait, which, was that a live gig no 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 that, that was like say, way way back before I got to Wembley. this one like, no lie it was yeah. at Wembley yeah. wasn't it no it wasn't at Wembley no it wasn't at Wembley uh, Mickey what uh, uh, profession other than your own would you like to attempt uh, well, I'd always love to have been a chef can you cook, sir? Oh well, I enjoy cooking. I do. I went to I went to uh, catering college for a couple of years, but then I got I, I got a job in a restaurant and I hated it. Oh. Hated the way I was treated, so it put me off a bit. But I mean, I've done some I've done some like professional cooking since, and I'd like if if I was still okay when I'm packing the music, I'd like to be able to do that. That's wonderful. Yeah. What's what cu- what cuisine do you lean towards? Um, I, I'm uh, mainly Italian. I love Italian food. No going to Italy at the moment. Oh, no, 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 no. Sadly, yeah. in, uh, at this point in time, Italy is on lockdown yes, at the moment is, because uh, of this horrid more, little more, virus. More, 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 more. Places are on lockdown. They Hopefully not the UK. Let's not go there. Let's uh, not go yeah. there. Um, OK. What profession would you not like to do, Everett? Mm, what profession I would not like to do? Being a policeman. Why? Yeah, because they get lots of shit. Yep. Yeah, hard-working people, but they get lots of shit. They are hard-working yeah, people. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. They are. Yeah, so yeah. I wouldn't like to be... One time I would, be, would have said yes, but now no, I've just seen it all. Yes. No, that's... Mickey? Uh, medical profession. Yeah. I think they get the real rough end of the stick. Yeah. You know, I mean, not nursing and stuff like that, you know, the way they're being treated. It's like, no, no, I'd hate to do that job. Yeah. And I think the people that do it need, you know, I think they're saints. They are saints, yeah, I yeah, totally agree yeah. with you. Paramedics are saints as well. Yeah, absolutely. I've yeah, been in, yeah, in yeah. a situation terrified in an ambulance and they were phenomenal. Yeah. And they study for so long, paramedics. Know, yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. People don't realise. Wow. Well, that was it? No. <laughs> One more. Fear not, sir. Well, and then we're going to talk about the glorious... See that noise? Beat goes bang. Okay, mm-hmm. if heaven exists, sir, this is the deep question. But Are you ready? Heaven does exist. Does it, though? I think so, yeah. Does it? Yeah. We might be going the other way, kid. Yeah, okay. I've done well, some bad yeah. things. Oh, go on. Yeah. Okay. Um, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you when you, when you um, enter, arrive at the pearly gates? Well, welcome home. Ah, oh, <laughs> yeah. welcome home all together. Welcome. Second on, verse. Me. Come on in. Close the door. Sorry. I really now want to go and sing the rest of it. You've been yeah. gone. Okay, no. What would you like God to say? I'd like him to apologise for everything. <laughs> no, I would. That's no. such a laconic answer. I'd like him to say I'm, I'm sorry for everything, but, and there's a big list. There is a big yeah, list. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Mm. Do you know that the gra- that is very similar, you're in good company, that Robert De Niro's answer to that was... You've got a lot of explaining to do. Oh, that's, yeah. what an answer! That's good, yeah. And yeah, yours? Yeah, yeah. What an answer! Anyway, let's talk yeah. about the beat goes bang, yes. Kitty Winks. Yes. How did that happen? Oh, this this happen. this reincarnation. Uh, yes, that happened because I was I resigned from the second beat, or oh, well, put it, I was pushed out of the second beat, forming of the beat, and. Well, I, 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 built, I, I built, built it and, like, you know, I was pushed out there in 2013. That's lasted 13 years and so I decided to keep on doing it. So, so I mean, because I think, I'm, I think I'm the beat, you see, so I just said beat goes bang. Okay. Yes. yes. 
I'm very glad you did. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, but people keep telling me that I am, but you know, I'll slow down and telling myself that I am. Sometimes I do say, I do brag about it. Sometimes. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't I? But you, know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so, you know, it's just. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Do you know how many people those albums have made happy? Yeah. A lot. Well, the, the other night I said to this lady, I'm famous. You know, I wasn't trying to chat up. That, that, that's, don't not lie. My, that's not my chatting up. Line. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But, I mean, I don't, as a boy said to her that I'm famous. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm quite surprised in myself as saying that yeah. to this person. Yeah. You know. But there must have been times in your life where you thought, I am famous. Oh, yes. I mean, there's lots you've, of... you've both been, especially you, through the most unbelievable chart ascension and manic times in your life. What, what was that like? Well, all the top of the pops. I was going to ask uh, you about that, and all that drama, the, the, of that ch that chart notoriety that you had was huge when you were in Dexys Midnight Runners. Yeah, well, it didn't seem real, and, and when it happened, it it wasn't what I expected. I thought I was going to, I thought I was going to feel fantastic, and then I didn't. How I just felt the same. The same. But, yeah, yeah. And I thought, well, what do we do now? We can uh, you just get a number one LP now, and th then there's nothing else. You know, you can better than that. Did you feel that that was like a zenith and that was it? Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. Did yeah. you did you have like a psychological come down from that? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. yes. Well, I left after after but when when Common Island went to number one and we had a month, a month of like top ten records. I mean, I I, I just had enough of it then. I just completely lost the interest and I left. Wow. And. Um, and they carried on, and, and, and it, uh, apparently things went from bad to worse. So you got out the right time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I think yeah. about, if you think about the amount of airplay that that song in its lifetime has had, it's unbelievable. Oh, God, yeah. If you, yeah, yeah. If you, you know, I, I, just going back to the police, just for a second, every, I mean, it's not the same song at all, but Every Breath You Take has had more continuous airplay on American radio than pretty much any other song ever mm, in the yeah, history of ever. Right, yeah. and, and come on, Eileen has had so much continuous airplay yeah. in in the history of ever. It's a huge, huge song. But yeah. I mean, for me, I mean, just personally, I, I can't even, I actually genuinely don't know if you were on this track or not, but I my favorite is Jackie Wilson said. Oh yeah, I, was, I played oh. on that, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, just that last few seconds, that crescendo at the last, it's unbelievable, that track. Yeah, it's, it's for not me. a bad version, is it? Oh, no. It's just, Utterly glorious. That's it's my favourite version. It's just, oh, it's amazing. So we, let's just talk about the beat goes bang before we summate and finish. Uh, sadly, um, so you're in the group. Yes, I'm in the group. Yeah, I, I will always be in the group. You know. Yes, and yeah. Mike, Mike, Mickey's in the group. Who else is in the group? Um, Neil Deathridge who used to play guitar in the beat as well. Yes. So I mean, he, he was like he was always getting sacked and then reinstated. And, right. And then so so there's him. We've got uh, Theo Hockley on the bass. Yes. Uh, Sean Williams on the saxophone. Yes. And Deminus, new singer. We've got our new singer Deminus. If he wants to come up and get a cuddle, because he can. Because he's got a lovely, he's got the most fabulous smile and teeth. So I think he should just come up and sit with sit with us, sir, and just just bring your little took us up here. Yeah, yeah, can I? No, don't leave me, Mickey. No, I'm not leaving. Okay, you. Deminus. Hello. How did that happen? That name. How did that happen? How did that happen, Deminus? Um, I know where it's going. <laughs> it's, you know, it's coming. Deminus is a togetherness name. You know, it's a, it's coming from the patois of Jamaica. I'm obsessed with patois, <laughs> which is <laughs> Deminus. No, you wait. You which wait. Is, which is Deminus, really? Of course. You know, I love words. patois, by the yeah. way. We can yeah. have a whole. I learned so much. I've got a girl, a girl, a girlfriend of mine called Miss Paulette. Okay. And she comes on my show, on my radio show, Blam Blam Radio, by the way. Some date's still available. Yeah. Um, she comes on my show, and what she does is she speaks in full patois, yeah. and then I'll say it in posh English for the Ooh, contrast. Oh, yeah. And it's interesting, hilarious. Interesting. And I've learned, I learned a, a fantastic one recently, uh, which was Bacayad. Bacayad. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. That's a beauty. Bacayad. But yeah. um, I love it. And just, yeah, she, 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 so she brought this dictionary on, which is, I just gave. 
Everett a lovely t-shirt and the dictionary oh, yes. it's called A is for orange wicked right okay <laughs> and, uh, I, which I absolutely isn't that beautiful so we had t-shirts made saying A is for orange, orange. I, wish, I wish I had that in your size but, I yeah, that's but I'll it. post you one that's it and so, um, yeah. so yeah so I, I just Patois is such a beautiful rich language know, isn't it yeah it's just it's, 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 it's the native um, African language mixed with the English and where are you? Where were you born? I was born in Jamaica. You're born whereabouts? Saint Thomas. Okay, okay. Yeah. And where were you born? Everett? I was in Saint Kitts. Saint Kitts. Yeah. Okay. One of my dear friends who does all my jingles mm. in Patois is from Saint Elizabeth. Okay. There you go. But that's, that's in Jamaica. That's in yeah. Jamaica. Yeah. In Jamaica. Yeah. Correct. The east side of Jamaica. But he's a. You're no, a small island. No, the west. Island. The west side. The west you're side. a smallie. <laughs> he's um, a smallie. Um, that's what they. It's true though. Did they still say smallie? Oh yeah, boy. There you go. See, that that doesn't bother me. No, I, but I, it's, it's only gorgeous. sixty-eight square miles, but I mean, smallie. I was, I was happy when I was a kid there. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so so you you've just joined. Yeah, I've just joined. Yeah. Okay. Have you been out on the road or done gigs yet? Not as yet. We are still. In rehearsals, okay, because I've got to learn up to about seventeen songs. <laughs> and, <laughs> and and do you realise what an unbelievably yeah. beautiful musical heritage you're getting yes, yourself into? It is, it is, it is, and, and it to really be honest, is. I, I so adore and appreciate to be part of this journey. So Wonderful. as a as a youngster, yeah, you know, because um, I think these guy these guys got a legacy that oh boy to you know I mean I I as, I as a person younger person who never discovered until I started doing the, my research. Yes. I was blown away. So um, most of my younger friends all started becoming a fan of the beat. Yeah. Because they never know of a beat, um, sorry, they never, they never know of a band called The Beat because of, I don't know. <laughs> I, I believe it. I mean, uh, the first time I ever heard the beat was at school. And yeah. uh, uh, I mean, I'm 48. I, I remember being at school and I, and I heard what happened. And I, I, what happened and I just, I've still got it on vinyl. And uh, it, it's, um, I, I wore it out. Yeah. I wore mm. out, the ca I've got, I, I did on the cassette, I just wore it out from over and over yeah. and over and out. Did you see yeah. what I did there? Yeah. Yeah. That was a yeah. good... Mm -hmm. Good segue. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite proud. I didn't expect that to happen, but it did. The one, the one thing about Dennis as well, it's like he's, he's the third member in the band who happens to be under the age of 50. It's beautiful. It's like it. Yeah. 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 Which is quite good. They're all, so the, you're aware they've all got bus passes. Yeah. And yeah, you haven't. No, it's not. not <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I haven't. Not, yeah, so I've, yeah. I've got to wait another five years. It's only one person who's got a bus pass, and that's me. Oh. Yeah. You know, yeah. But yes, so it's a huge musical heritage. It is. And I mean, and and I can't I'll spontaneously combust if I go on to, into it too yeah. much because I adore them yeah adore them Just, definitely I, anyway we're good. so you're going to go out on the road you've got some I've seen you've got these little sporadic tour dates mm -hmm. coming up I must come and see one I missed you I actually got to Cambridge you Junction will, and you, I missed you you, you will love it I, I'm going to go mad I'll be in, I'll be in the front row yeah. In, a, in an antique beat t-shirt losing my mind and I'm fine <laughs> with it yeah I'll be r jumping up and down and um um, I think we're going to end it there. Yeah, I think, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm truly grateful to be in your company. And thank you for yeah, taking the time to come. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah. It's been a joy. Starbridge. <laughs> oh, Starbridge. <laughs> Forty <laughs> minutes. It's hardly, you know, Poland or anything. Yeah, yeah it was fine. Thank you so thank much, gentlemen. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you.